Alright, what's going on everybody? This is Chase Fan number nine here and I'm coming at you with another video. And in this one I'm gonna be taking a look at the paint schemes from this past weekend's races at Martinsville Speedway. Yes, you heard me right. As of this recording it will mark two days since the Xfinity Cup races at the paperclip wrapped up. In a weekend that could have been a little bit better if it hadn't been for the rain, but oh well. But anyways, um, well, it's better late than never, if you know what I'm saying, but yeah. Um, there were some pretty cool paint schemes. Too bad most of them got torn up in wrecks, but we're going to take a look at them anyway. So once again, sorry this is late, but at least we're doing it before we get to Richmond. But anyways, without further ado, let's take a look at the paint scheme, shall we? So first up, we got Quinn Half in the double zero Gardner Marsh Chevrolet Camaro. Simple red on the top and along the side skirt here. You got silver and black, silver and white. You got a little bit of white here on the top and you got mostly black here in between. Nothing too crazy though. I like how it is. The red number's fine. The black wheels, they're okay, I guess. So yeah. Brad Kislowski rocking the number two auto trader scheme. Same thing from Atlanta, but without um all the the names here on the side. But it's a cool. Uh. It's a cool pace scheme nonetheless. Austin Dillon in the number three American Ethanol Chevrolet Camaro. It's all good. S same paint scheme that we saw. I think we've seen this paint scheme last year. And if that's so, well, it's just as good as it was just as good as this one. The green. I like how it's like a flowing design. I like that. Got white here on the top. And I noticed there's green on the roof too. I like that. Um, I like the outline here. Not not bad, not bad. They could have done white wheels, which would fit perfectly with this, but hey, it's it's all good, if you know what I'm saying. Kevin Harvick dro drove the number four Bush NA dot win Ford Mustang. NA stands for non-alcoholic for those who are wondering or don't know. But anyways, um, once again, the Bush car is show is um, displaying one of its cans. Looks pretty nice. I like that. Got um, the mountain design in the background along the side, and it's on the front too. I like it. And overall, looks good. I remember Harvick ran a similar paint scheme like this a couple years ago, and that one looked pretty. Looked just as good as this one, but the blue. Looked a little bit more different. But overall, I like it. If I were to see this car, I'd get it. Even if it had a stand, I probably wouldn't care less about it. Kyle Larson was rocking the HendrickCars.com scheme. Nice. Ryan Newman with that guaranteed rate scheme. Corey LaJoy drove the number 7 Arc.io Arc Chevrolet Camaro. Love the the design, I see what they're going with here. You're going with some crazy. You got some stuff here in the background. Um, not sure what it is, but um, it looks pretty cool. You got some white lines here along the side. That looks pretty cool as well. You got some here on the side. You got a little bit here. On some of the and a little bit here on top, with a different color. And I assume this was the logo. I'd, I saw the race, but I didn't, I saw Corlo Joy's car, but I just didn't get a good look at, um, the logo. I'll probably have to look again. But overall, it's a cool scheme. White rims could have done, done well. Man, LaJoy, you were running up close to the top 10, and then you get wrecked out under pit stops. Wow. Anyways, um... Tyler Reddick drove the number 8 Childress Vineyards Chevrolet Camaro. Very simple scheme with the black and the um, gold here. 
and yeah, I was referring to this gold if you guys are wondering. Looks pretty nice, very simple. Of the white here on the bottom looks nice, and there's some a little bit here. Overall, it's a it's a good paint scheme. I can't complain too much about it. Chase Elliott finished second. Avoid in that Napa 9 car. Eric Amarola drove the number 10 Smithfield Anytime Favorites Ford Mustang. It's got like a pinkish color here on the front with a little bit of white. Kind of similar to what um, some of the ham or the the meat that the Smithfield products look like. I, I guess that's what the style is. I could be wrong though. In fades in the black pretty much. Let's see. White rims could have gone good with this. Can't complain too much. You got a little bit wraps around here. Goes down there. Awesome. Denny Hamlin in his FedEx scheme, same. Ryan Blaney driving, drove the number 12 Shell Penzo Menard scheme. Boy, that was a good race for him. Too bad the late race penalty screwed him out of a win. Well, much better finish. Anyways, yo, I swear, once I saw this paint scheme on track, I initially thought. I kept thinking in my mind it was Clint Boyer when I knew for a fact it was Chase Briscoe. But anyways, um, same as it's been from Clint Boyer and Tony Stewart, nothing's changed. Maybe except for Rush Care, but that's pretty much it. It's a good paint scheme though, not gonna lie. And I'll leave it at that. Chris Boyer rocking that fast and all scheme. Kyle Busch drove the number 18 Snickers Toyota Camry. Love the purple. Love the giant Snickers bar here on the side. Looks half chewed. I love it. You had it here on the top too, and that looked pretty nice. I think it's like a dark chocolate flavor, I think. Yeah, I believe that's what it was. And overall, good scheme. This would be NASCAR Authentics worthy. Right here, Martin Trex Jr., your winner from Sunday. Rocking that Bass Pro scheme, looking the same as it has always been. Christopher Bell, it's basically the same thing as Brandon Jones' scheme, both the number 20. But I like how it's decent and all that. Matt DiBenedetto rocking, was rocking that Wood Brothers scheme. As the same with Joe Logano, his Shell Pennzoil's car. I saw that Bubba Wallace changed um, up his DoorDash scheme for this past weekend. I love how it's white on top and red on the bottom. I like the change. Sometimes you gotta have you have to change it every once in a while, but I'm cool with this. Um, it's pretty simple, nothing too crazy. Love the um, the slant here. Looks nice. Nothing to complain here. So, good scheme. William Byron rocking, was rocking that Liberty University scheme. Was running up there in the top 10. Who's next? Ooh, Michael McDowell driving the number 34 freight auctions for Mustang. I think he ran this paint scheme already this year, so I'll skip out on it. Now this is one fiery paint scheme right here for Ryan Priest, and that adds up to the fact that he did have a fire after being caught up in that wreck late in the race, so yeah, it was, it was pretty intense, too bad he crashed out, and he was actually running in the top 20, near the top 10 I believe, before that late race crash, um... Love the fire scheme on the side. I love how it fades out into yellow here. I see the theme that they go since it's Louisiana hot sauce. So I see what they're going with as far as the flames are concerned. So I get what they're going. White rims could have, white yellow rims could have gone good with this. I don't know. Um, this was going to be the 
in the thumbnail, but they ch well they changed it to Bubble Walls, but I'm I'm okay with it, I guess. Could have got someone different, but oh well. It was cool to see I racing on a cup car for once, like Anthony Alfredo. Decent paint scheme, love the design here on the side. Um, there's blue, mostly the back. You got white here and red. It's just focused mostly on the outline here, like uh, to separate the blue from the white. So I see what they're going with. And the the logo was on the front of the car, obviously. So I wasn't wasn't surprised by that, but it is what it is. Um, before I continue, sorry if I'm off topic, but I saw dude wipes at um Rayleigh's. Turn, I was kind of surprised when I saw it because when I saw it, I thought of, oh, Anthony Alfredo. I just wanted to, you guys just acknowledge that. Sorry if I went off topic. Not a big deal, but I thought I'd just say it just because you know what I'm saying. Cole Custer drove his typical Haas scheme. Eric Jones, I almost said Bubba Wallace. Eric Jones drove that Petty's Garage scheme. Ricky Stenhouse, love or hate him. This has to be the best sponsor combination, Kroger and Crest, because it's just a mixture of blue, red, and white. I like it. And Oral B as well. I love that there on the side. You got, I like it. Bowman with his typical ally scheme. Justin Haley and Daniel Suarez with their typical space. But, anyways, guys. That's pretty much it. On to Xfinity now. Alright. Peace.